Всем привет. Hello everyone in this video. I will show a crucial experiment related to a fuel-free generator, which will change your understanding of the laws of physics and open up great prospects in the field of energy. Each of you will be pleasantly surprised at how easy it is for humanity to produce electricity. No fossil hydrocarbons are used. And even without the help of the light of the sun and the wind, this is a breakthrough in the energy sector. Watch the video to the end to get the gist. This is a drawing of the first project that was presented in the previous video. The meaning is in the number pi, which means that half of the circle is 30% more than the effort needed to lift the load on the rise. It's a closed loop. But the next project is the discovery of the century. Here is this updated diagram, here the lifting mechanism is shifted. But this is done taking into account the greatest traction force in the center of the structure. In this project, the number pi is also used, but we also use the power of the lever. The point is that if we have a circle radius of 200 centimeters, then one side that is constantly loaded has 100 centimeters. And the distance to climb is required, taking into account that we need to let go a little and raise a little 75 centimeters plus the friction force, the remaining free energy is 10%. A star is also used for a chain with a diameter of 150 centimeters. It is marked in red. This is done to create an additional load force on the lift, because the engagement of the lift will occur at the point of greatest effort. I'll show you the experiment next and what it gives us. In general, due to the offset from the axis, the lever force is obtained, as a result, we get more force. For example, the loaded part of the circle has 100 kilograms, the force created at the transfer point to the lifting mechanism will be 160, or 180. That's a big raise. If we need 8 tens of kilograms to lift the load, and we get 180 kilograms, this mechanism will use three laws for its work. The first is the energy reserve contained in water tanks on one side of the circle, which will be constantly replenished. The second is the pi number, which gives a greater pressure distance than is required for lifting. The third is the lever and the law of Archimedes, which will give us a boost in strength due to the offset. Let's move on to the experiment, pour one kilogram of water into the container. Ну, в общем, один килограмм десять грамм. Один килограмм десять грамм. по центру, например, вот у нас звездочка большая будет находиться вот, примерно вот в таком диаметре. Кило триста. When the load is almost at the bottom of the wheel, the force is where we will have a power takeoff for lifting is one kilogram three hundred grams. If you lift the load to the middle of the wheel, the force is more than two kilograms. Kilo, kilo 
We also raise the load higher, and everywhere the force is more than 1 kg, as a result, if the structure is loaded by 100 kg. We will get together where we will connect the lift for synchronous feeding of the mechanism. About 180 kilos. This is quite enough to supply the mechanism and produce electricity. This is the work of the lever force. I also found a scientific treatise that explains that mechanisms of this kind will not work. It sounds like this. For example, the movements and rotations of celestial bodies such as planets may seem eternal, but they are actually subject to many processes that slowly dissipate their kinetic energy, such as the solar wind, the resistance of the interstellar medium, gravitational radiation, and thermal radiation, so they will not continue to move forever. Firstly, this treatise confirms that the universe has a huge reserve of energy, which allows the universe to constantly move like a perpetual motion machine. Second, they claim that the universe will someday cease to exist because it has run out of energy. This is of course all true. But how can this statement mean that there can be no self-feeding mechanisms? This is a substitution of concepts, we know that all mechanisms need to be repaired when they break. But we can also take advantage of the law of the universe, and make a reserve of energy for our mechanisms. Which will give us free energy. The meaning of this video is that I am trying to promote the idea of this mechanism. This mechanism has three reasons and big factors that will allow us to receive plainless energy. This is, as I said, a reserve of power in the form of constantly filled containers with water. The number of pi, which allows you to load more than you need to lift. And the power of the Archimedean lever, which will give us a tangible increase in strength. I also have a request to everyone who has watched this video up to this point, leave comments, put your ratings. Share this video with your friends. What is it for? I don't have the technical capability to make this mechanism. And if more people see this video, it's more likely that someone will build it. In fact, our planet and humanity need free energy. And a mechanism of this kind will be able to do it. Good luck to everyone and bye.